Hey folks, welcome back to Bullets and Brass. Today we are talking knives. Got a Kershaw Cryo and a literally generic Benchmade clone. You guys know I've been carrying the Cryo for years. This is my main EDC. I, you know, you can tell it's pretty uh, dirty. This is what I've been carrying for, uh, I don't know, since they came out, basically. I decided to try something different. I keep doing this, I keep trying different things just to experiment. And what I tried is literally a generic. Uh, I don't know how else to put it. It, it. When you go to the product page, it is brand generic knives. Uh, sorry, generic brand. Oh, it's not even that. <laughs> I'm reading it off the webpage. Generis Brands. They, it's a Chinese company and they they, they couldn't even spell generic. Yeah. But it isn't pretending to be a Benchmade. They don't say it's a Benchmade. They, they don't claim to be using S30V. Like, it, they're, they're not pretending it's anything it's not. The only part I have issue with is they say this is a Grivery uh, fiberglass for the handles. If it is, it's not as well done as the official stuff. Uh, it's, I actually like it better, but it is a little more flexible. So, the axis lock works well. Uh, it is not as tight as a real Benchmade, but it is tight enough uh, for, the, for the pivot. This, oops, let's see here. You can see this is decently done. Uh, it's hard for me to angle it right. These are square and flush with the blade. There's no issues there like there are in a lot of knives. The axis lock makes it snug, closed. It doesn't, when I pull, there's resistance right immediately. It wants to be closed. You know, sometimes knives, they, they like to wiggle around a little bit. Well, if they wiggle around that far, you're gonna get stabbed when you reach into your pocket. This one stays closed. It wants to be closed. Uh, the little flip motion I do works great. It is actually harder to do on a real Benchmade. Uh, their axis lock, when you release it, it doesn't really fully release uh, in terms of the opening. It only releases so you can close it. So there's still tension. You can flip them, but it's, it's a lot tougher. The blade is the same steel as my Kershaw. Um, what is the name of it? 8CR13 MOV. Nothing special. This is a generic steel. Uh, but they got the heat treat right because when I sharpen it, use it, the, you know, beat it up a little bit, it stays sharp about the same amount of time I would expect it to, and it sharpens about as easily. That's, that's one of the things about this kind of steel. It doesn't stay sharp. It is not a super hard abrasion resistant steel. What it is, is a really easy steel to maintain. Very corrosion resistant and really just sharpening it takes takes a few seconds. Even if you get it really bad, it's not hard to sharpen. An actual Benchmade, good luck. Uh, if you're not good at sharpening knives, you're gonna be an unhappy camper. Now, take it into Cabela's or Bass Pro and have them do it. Take it to a, a knife show. But then you know, you're know you waiting with a dull knife until then. Uh, you know, it's way easier just to have a knife you can sharpen yourself now I'm not saying don't just you know don't learn to do it, but some people just don't want to bother. They got other things to do. Uh, the handles themselves feel good. They've got a little I don't, I don't know what to call it. There's a little texture to it even on the smooth areas. Honestly, if you told me these were Benchmade grips, I if I didn't have a Benchmade there to compare with, I would believe you. Uh, the pinholes all seem to line up. The screw holes I have not tried putting on other Benchmade grips. I may order some fake Benchmade, you know, some replacement Benchmade, but not by Benchmade grips to see if these are the same as the actual Benchmades. I suspect they are. We have put this up against a legitimate Benchmade and could not tell. Uh, it does not look as well made. Uh, let me be clear. This is not pretending to be a real Benchmade. This is not a, a clone or a fake in the sense where it's, it's trying to be, it's trying to fool you. This is not trying to fool you. It's just trying to be, uh, well, you wanted a Benchmade, we have Benchmade at home. That's, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, 